It's that time again, time to rate 100 more wives submitted by you guys on Twitter. Aw oh, yeah, time to make more people fucking mad. First off, I'm gonna issue a correction. Hyoka, I recently watched it, and so Chitanda, instead of a 3, goes up to a 4. Alright, let's fucking do this. I know in the last video, some people were complaining that I was giving, um, uh, what they thought were too nice of rankings, you know, I was just trying to respect people's choices, but now that you fucking complained about it, I'm gonna be a little bit meaner this time. Holo from Spice and Wolf. You know, I didn't get into Spice and Wolf that much. This character was alright. Uh, 3 out of 5. She's cute, I guess, she's got the fox thing, but overall this character didn't really stick out to me. Korwa from Grand Blue Fantasy. I did... very... intri- what the hell is it, a hammock? That's very intricate. Uh... I can't really get a sense of the girl because everything is... I give the girl a 3 out of 5 and I'll give the hammock a 5 out of 5. Riza Hawkeye from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, easy 5 out of 5. Uh, the female characters in Full Metal Alchemist are amazing. Uh, and Riza Hawkeye is, I mean, one of the best. Uh, she's badass, she's loyal, she gets shit done. She uh, is basically the reason Roy Mustang can do anything. Uh, I love the relationship with her and Roy, and I want a relationship with her. Tsubasa from Symphogear. Uh, she's got a motorcycle, so that's kind of cool. Uh, otherwise, kind of nondescript, but the motorcycle's kind of cool. 3.5 out of 5. Hinagiku Katsura from Hayate no Gotoku. This girl looks like she's 13 years old. Uh, she's a singer, I guess? 2.5 out of 5. Hiyoki Iki from Noragami. Uh, I have no idea how old this character is. I haven't seen this. She looks kind of like an older, like a mom, maybe? She's kind of cute. 3.5 out of 5. Futaba Sakura, Persona 5. Ooh, easy. Uh, 4 point, no. 5 out of 5. I think she's a lot of fun. Uh, I do like that she's a giant nerd. She has her own, like, insecurities, but she's endearing, and she gives, gives the party a lot of pep. And she's just cute. I love her design. Uh, so, 5 out of 5. Sumireko Usami from Toho. She looks like some kind of witch. Uh, she's got a whirly cape. Looks kind of young. Not that into it. 2.5 out of 5. Muriel from Fire Emblem Awakening. Not one of my top girls, actually. She seemed... Her personality was... She's like the serious, studious type. Um, but she seemed a little one-note to me. So I'll just say 3.5 out of 5. Eh, 3 out of 5. Ashido Mina from My Hero Academia. Uh, I haven't seen enough of this uh, to remember exactly what this character was like personality-wise, but I think her design's really cute. I like the pink kind of, uh, I guess she's like a, what, like a monster or something? Like her power is something like that? I don't remember, but, uh, I think she's very cute, so I'll say four out of five. CL from the Mega Man Zero series, uh, she looks young and pink. I don't know, I can't is that what they look like in that game? They're like super chibi? I don't know, 2 out of 5. Cordelia from Fire Emblem Awakening, 5 out of 5! I do love her unrequited love with Fakram, and she- I like the little wings in her hair, and uh, the armor is nice. Uh, she's just a really uh, cute character, and I like that um, she kind of has to deal with Krom not paying attention to her, and then like, you know, you can, she develops a relationship with somebody else, it's really nice to watch, and she's just a badass, so 5 out of 5. Moa from Show by Rock. Uh, I kind of like her hair, it kinda looks, she kind of looks like she's like sheep's hair or something. Uh, there's the stars in it. Uh, okay, she, she, she seems like she likes to have uh, fun. Uh, 4 out of 5. Kino Yukino Shita from Oregairu. Uh, she's going meow, I guess she likes cats. Uh, her name is literally Yukino Yukino Shita. That's pretty goofy. I know nothing about her aside from- So because she said meow and seems to like cats or something, I'll bump her up to a 3 out of 5. Kaori Miyazono from Your Lie in April. Um, I liked this show. This character was fun, but there were better female characters in this show. Um, she seemed a little too, like, I'm the quirky girl, name girl, and... Uh, she was alright though, so let's say 3.5 out of 5. Shie Satanaka from Persona 4, 5 out of 5. Um, you know, I think I have a different girl as my pers top Persona 4 girl now, but I really like Chie. Uh, at the time she was my best girl. Um, I do like that she's kind of kicked butt and spunky and has that good energy. She's got the kung- or the sh she's got the martial arts and she likes beef bowls and I can- 
uh, appreciate a girl who likes food, so uh, let's give her a 5 out of 5. She's still top tier. Kronoma Sawako from Kimi ni Todoke. I liked this show. I didn't watch the uh, second season. Maybe I should, but um, I thought this... I like the concept of like uh, people think she's creepy, but she's actually super nice because I think she looks like the ring... Uh, not the ring, the girl from the wing. The wing? The girl from the ring, uh, Sadako. Uh, but she's really endearing. I love how nice and kind she is. Uh, let's give her a 4 out of 5. Um, just a nice girl. Eureka from Eureka7. I haven't seen this. Uh, I don't really care for this design. She has like toothpaste hair. The colors are weird. She looks like she's like the palette swap of like the correct colors of a character. Uh, 2.5 out of 5. Yoko from Gurren Lagann, 5 out of 5. Um, she's got a big ass gun. Um, I love her design. I think there, it's just a fun, vibrant design. Uh, and she gets to do a lot of cool shit as the show goes on. Her role kind of changes, um, especially when she's an adult. Uh, I mean, she's badass. She's, uh, but she also has a very nice emotional side, which I appreciate. So, five out of five. Azusa from Kaon. Um, probably my second least favorite girl. I mean, the. Uh, you know, Miu, Miu, Mio, Ritsu, and Mugi are like the best. Azusa's okay. Uh, she kind of just seems like a kid to me. So I like her as a character, but if we're rating her as a wife, two out of five. Neferpedo from Hunter Hunter, four out of five. Um, I like this character a lot. The design is really cute. I like the outfit. I like the the sort of cat person kind of vibe. And this character is just a really interesting one because when Neferpedo first appears, uh, you know, Neferpedo just doesn't fuck around and is basically like this terrifying kind of like monster. But as it goes on, uh, you really feel for this character. And I was really surprised at how much I kind of like felt bad for Neferpedo, even though uh, when you first meet uh, Neferpedo, it's like, you don't feel that way at all, but, um, I love Chimera Ant Arc, so I'll, uh, did I say a ranking? Four out of five? Whatever, four out of five. Jun Kurosu from Persona 2. What is that on his shoulder? Kind of looks like, uh, Yusuke from Persona 5. Um, kind of looks like a nerd. He's got a weird leaf on his shoulder. Uh, three out of five. He's kind of good looking, but also looks like a giant nerd. Shampoo from Rama One Half. I didn't watch Rama One Half, I think, to get to this character far enough. Maybe I did? Uh, I like her design though. I think it's very cute. I like the purple hair and like the big poofy hair and the pigtails. Um, so let's give her a four out of five. I Just by design alone, uh, she just seems fun. Anko Subuzaki from Battle Girl High School. I don't know what this is, but uh, looks like she's uh, a gamer. That's kind of fun. Uh, you know, I kind of like the, uh, the, uh, nerd trash girls, uh, so let's say, uh, four out of five. Um, seems like someone I could get along with. Barry the Chopper from Full Metal Alchemist. I do like this character a lot, but in terms of a husband, uh, one out of five, no thank you. Uh, he's a terrifying walking killer piece of armor, but he is really funny. So you know what? I'll bump it up to a 1.5 out of five. He's got a funny personality. Mashiro Shina from Sakura Sono Pet Nakanojo. Uh, you know, I don't really go for the, I mean, just by facial expression alone, I don't really go for like the, mm, I'm just whatever, you know, I'm the whatever girl. Uh, she's kind of cute though, so 3.5 out of 5. Nana Abe from Idolmaster. She says she's 17, but she's really like 30. Okay, well, if she's 30, then I'm, I'm more for that. That's kind of a funny concept, like, uh, she pretends she's younger than she is, like, because she doesn't want people to know her real age. So, I kind of like that. Four out of five. Cutie Honey from Re Cutie Honey. Um, this design is kind of goofy, but I like it. It's kind of a retro... I haven't seen Re Cutie Honey or Cutie Honey. Um, but, uh, she has a sword that's pretty cool. Uh, let's say 3.5 out of five. Jupiel from the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. Uh, Jupiel is a goofy ass name. Um, I kind of like her epaulettes and her whatever uniform she has. I don't know what she does, but oh well, she like collecting. What the hell does that say? Collecting plushies and training. 
likes avocados. Okay, well, I like avocados too, 3.5 out of 5. New from Elfin Lead. Uh, from what I remember, I liked Elfin Lead. This character was, kind of had like the personality of a baby though. So, I think this character was a cute character, but in terms of wife, uh, 1 out of 5? Uh, that, I mean, she acts like an infant. Nia from Gurren Lagann. This is a character who has a very interesting sort of arc. Um, uh, overall I like her a lot. Um, she's very sweet. I like that she's a nice source of, like, joy, and she's very cheerful and perky and kind of lifts Simon's spirits, so... I like that about her. So let's say 4 out of 5. Tsukima Kurashita from Princess Jellyfish. Um, this character was cute. Um, she's got kind of like a mousy, kind of like, uh, nerdy look. But, personality-wise, I don't know if she'd really gel with me that well. Um, she's a little, maybe too shy for my tastes. So let's say a 3.5 out of 5. I do like the character. Kanan Matsuda from Love Live Sunshine. This is a character I thought I would really like, because she seemed kind of like a blue Ellie. But, uh... Doesn't really stand out to me as much as some of the others, but I still like her. Um, but I find I'm gravitate more to like some of the other girls. So let's say, uh, but I still like her. She's still like not one. She's not like Chica or anything. So let's say 3.5 out of five. Uh, give it to me 3.5 out of five. Fuck you. Yo Watanabe from Love Live. Um, I like this character's design a lot. Personality wise, it, it's not like she doesn't have like a huge standout personality, but she's just kind of like you know, dependable and just like, hey, what's up? You know, I kind of like that about her. Uh, I'll give her a 4 out of 5. Riko Sakurauchi from Love Live Sunshine. I don't remember, the did I rate this character before? I don't remember, I did like a hundred of them. So, but anyway, she's my top girl, 5 out of 5. Um, I like that she has a connection to the previous group of girls. I, thought, I think that's a really interesting angle. Um, I think her designs are very cute. I like that she's kind of like, she reminds me of Umi. Um, just kind of like, uh, you know, not like she's responsible, but like not like super super confident, and I like that. I think I find that very endearing. Hisashi Yamada or Present Mike from Boku no Hero Academia. I remember this character vaguely, just that like, he like spoke in like a microphone. But I'm not. I don't know. I'm not. Is is he looks ridiculous? Two out of five. Alex Benedetto from Gangsta. Uh, okay. Uh, she's cute. She's got a lot of roses there. Just by looks, she seems cheerful from her expression here. And design-wise, I, I can go for that. Uh, let's say 3.5 out of 5. Panty from Panty and Stocking. You know, I haven't seen Panty and Stocking, but I should. It looks really funny. Um, but I like this character. I like both designs a lot, but I kind of go... I kind of go for blondes. So, uh, I'm gonna give her a 4 out of 5. Uh, I think her... I like the blonde hair. I like her kind of, like, sassy look. Kumiko Omae from Hippie K Euphonium. Oh, easy 5 out of 5. Uh, she's my favorite character in that show. I love Sound Euphonium. Um, I like that she feels like a real person. Like, she has flaws, and she has, um, she, like, you know, wants to get along with people, but she also has her own reservations, and she, like, you know, she just feels very real to me. And not a lot of anime characters feel, like, real, but I really appreciate that about her. Plus, she's just very cute. She's just a very endearing protagonist. Um, gets flustered easily. Uh, that's some of the fa my favorite parts of it, is just watching her try to interact with, um, some of the other characters, uh, but then she can also be very sassy and very, like, sarcastic, too. So it's like, it's like there are a lot of facets to her personality, so 5 out of 5. CC from Code Geass. You know, this character's design is, was, is just goofy as hell. Um, the green hair is ridiculous, matched with, like, the weird straight jacket, like, bondage suit, and she, like, she likes pizza, so I can relate to that. I'll bump her up to a 3 out of 5, but... That's just because she likes pizza. Kakashi from Naruto, 5 out of 5. What a sexy man. He's got the mask that's kind of mysterious, and he's got the scar over his eye, and he's just a chill dude. I like that about him, he's a ch he's chill as fuck, uh, but still can bring out that Raikiri and the Sharingan and still kick some ass. Um, he was easily uh, one of my favorite characters. Him or Jiraiya, maybe Kakashi at this point would be my favorite. It's, I've been, it's been a while since I've seen Naruto, um, but yeah, Kakashi's dope as fuck. He was like one of my first live journal icons. Garnet from Final Fantasy IX, five out of five. Final Fantasy IX is the best Final Fantasy, my favorite one. Um, this character, it's really satisfying watching her arc because she starts out kind of like this princess who doesn't know that much about the world. And then as she, you know, learns more, she becomes more independent and strong. And she's just a really, I love her relationship with Zidane. 
Uh, she's just so, she's so precious. I love Garnet. Five out of five. Risei Kujikawa from Persona 4, five out of five. Um, you know, while I was playing it, I wasn't as in, I still liked her. Um, but after I thought about it and playing Persona Q some, a bit of it, I really like this character. Uh, she seemed phony to me at first, but now she's generally just kind of nice and cheerful, and I like that. Um, and you know, her design is very, she's a, she's a babe, so. Uh, no, she might be my top Persona 4 girl now, so let's 5 out of 5. Kusaka Chihiro from the world God only knows. She looks young, kind of bummed. What happened, Chihiro? 2 out of 5. Hanamaru from Love Live Sunshine. This is a character, she kind of reminds me of Hanayo a little bit. Um, doesn't really stand out to me too much. I think she's the one who does like the Zuras or something, which I don't really care for. 3 out of 5. Kudelia Aina Bernstein. That's a mouthful. From Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. I like her hair. So that alone boosts it up. Uh, she looks glum, but her design I think is cute. I like, I mean, her, that is a ridiculous ponytail. Uh, just for the ponytail, 4 out of 5. Subasa Hanakawa from the Mo Monogatari series. I haven't seen this. Are these all the same character? So is this like, she gets like sexy or something, or? Based on the left design, like 2.5. Based on the bottom right, bump it up to a 3.5, I guess. Who knows, dog. Mila Babicheva from Yuri on Ice. I didn't watch enough of this to know who this is, but uh, she seems cute. Uh, I like the I like the short hair. Uh, she's cute, let's say 3.5 out of five. Blake Belladonna from Ruby. Uh, are those real cat ears? I don't know, but she, her stare is creeping me out. What's going on there? Three out of five. Bunny Min from Yokai Watch. Oh, this is a really cute design. Uh, I like the bunny ears with the her hair and uh, the outfit she's wearing is really fun. I like the belt buckle on it. Uh, four out of five. I didn't know Yokai Watch had cute girls in it. Moomin Rider from One Punch Man. I like that he's a hard worker. He's just a good guy. He just wants to help people out. He's really good at riding a bike. Four out of five. Nami from One Piece is five out of five. Probably my top anime girl, to be honest, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I like that she's headstrong, ambitious. I mean, she does what she wants. Uh, she gets some cool weather powers. Um, I don't know, she's always felt like one of the more real characters. Her and like Usopp, they because they're kind of like on the weaker end, so they feel more like real people to me. And so I really like that about her. Uh, she's just a babe. She's not he's a babe. Kubatora from Mother 3. I haven't played Mother 3. Um, I like the design. Yeah, the pink hair is fun. I've seen this character in cosplay a lot, so I like the design. The, what is she like? Was it like a raincoat or dress? I don't know. Uh, but the pink is fun. Let's say 3.5 out of 5. Makaya from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Uh, she looks, from what I can tell, I didn't play Radiant Dawn, but she's got kind of like a little sister look, so... Eh. Uh, the ribbon's kind of cute. Let's say 3 out of 5. Emma Yasuhara from Shirobako. Uh, let's say 4.5 out of 5. She's a little shy, but it's really satisfying watching her gain more confidence and get better at her craft. She does this really funny dance in one of the episodes that I really like. And it's just, she's easily one of the most satisfying characters to watch through this show. And if you haven't seen Shirobako, you should definitely see it. Um, if you have any interest in anime production, like watching how it's actually made, it's really, really fascinating. But Emma is really great. Easily one of my favorite characters. Azuro from Fire Emblem Fates. You know, honestly, this character, who I liked this character, but she really doesn't stand out to me as much as like, say, uh, Hinoka or um, Camilla or some of the, you know, the siblings. Azura feels a little bland in comparison. Uh, I mean, I like her though. I think she's an kind of an, no, she's not even that interesting, if I'm being completely honest. I'll say three out of five. Noriko Takaya from Gunbuster. I like her tough look. She's got the headband, I like that. Um, that outfit is ridiculous, but it kind of works. It, I like the retro look she's got rocking. Uh, four out of five. Chun-Li from Street Fighter, five out of five. Easy, my top, I don't even play Street Fighter, but my favorite Street Fighter girl by far. I love the little buns on her head. Um, and, oh man, easy 5 out of 5. And she can kick my ass. Ruby Kurosawa from Love Live Sunshine. You know, I don't dislike any of the girls. But this character is like, Oh, I can't, oh, I'm 
Ruby, I can't, I'm too sh It's like a little too shy for me. Uh, 2.8 out of five. Koneko Tojo from High School DxD. I think I rated a girl, another girl from this. I don't know, but the designs in this show just look just bland to me. If I'm just talking about designs, I'm not really into it. Two out of five. Eri Karan from Digimon Universe, Aptly Monsters. Haven't seen this. Uh, kind of like the tie and the pink hair. Uh, she looks like she's kind of take charge. Let's say 3.5 out of 5. Alicia Difta from Tales of Zestiria. She had, she did gardening or something. She's got flowers up there. She's got a knife. She seems okay. Can't really tell. She seems kind of bland. 3 out of 5. Sakura Mato from Fate Stay Night. I only seen Fate Zero. I don't remember if this character is even part of Fate Zero, but... She looks like a mom, kind of. She's kind of... Hmm. It's kind of... Hello, I'm kind of nice. 2.5 out of 5? I, I get kind of nothing from this character. 2.5 is just like... Eh. Sento Isuzu from Amagi Brilliant Park. I should probably watch this because I think, um... The guy who did Little Panic wrote this. This design's really cute, actually. I like the kind of ribbons. And it like kind of goes with her hair, the gray. I think the, the ribbons do a lot, actually. And I like the long hair. Uh, this character's really cute. Just from design alone, I'll go with four out of five. Lil Washu from Tenchi Muyo. I didn't, I did not watch Tenchi Muyo when I was growing up, so I have no attachment to it. So I'm just gonna say it. I don't like how these characters look at all. Like I don't like the style of it, and this character is no exception. I mean, personality-wise, maybe she's cool, but by looks, one out of five. Emma Sky from Ace Attorney. Ooh, she's great. Four point five out of five. Her arc through the games, it's been very gratifying watching her kind of like move up in her field. Um, when she first shows up, she's really cute and spunky, and then later on she kind of goes through like some, uh, kind of like a um, sarcastic kind of like, uh, disillusion phase. It's been really interesting watching this character go through phases of her life, but I love her design. I love the character. I'm always happy to see Emma. I'm gonna go up to 5 out of 5, actually. Edgeworth from Ace Attorney, 5 out of 5! Look at this sexy man! Easily one of the sexiest characters in this, in this entire game series. He's only matured more. Uh, like a fine wine as time has gone on. He's uh, this, yes, I'm so proper, but he's also a giant dork, which I love that about him. Basically a giant tsundere. Oh man, Edgeworth, five out of five. She from Chobits, she's like a robot or something. She looked like, she looks like she's dead to me. 1.5 out of five. Rami Thal from Guilty Gear. That hat is goofy as fuck. Does she control little bat things? I don't know. Design-wise, it's a little too much for me. I'll go with 3 out of 5. Asuka Tanaka from Sound Euphonium, 5 out of 5. Also one of my favorite characters. She's a really weird character, which I like. She, like, is this, you know, outwardly she's kind of like this brash, kind of like, yeah, I'm not even brash, but like, kind of take charge, uh, extrovert. Um, but then she has all this, like, hidden stuff with her that, like, uh, it gives her a little more depth, and I like that. Um, I feel like she's more fleshed out than some of the other characters, but no, I, I and I love her design. The glasses are really cute. Oh, five out of five, easy. Professor Ursula from Little Witch Academia. It's been a while. I forget if this character is this the same character teacher from the shorts because I haven't seen the show yet. If it is, I like this character. If not, I'm mixing them up. But uh, let's say she is that character, and if not, then I'm just wrong. But uh, I like her. Four out of five. I like the kind of little twist they had with her. Um, and design-wise, she's just kind of like a, like a, like a, like a hot teacher. I'm down for that. Fubuki from One Punch Man. I have not read One Punch Man about beyond, or watched or read beyond the show. Design-wise, I like this design. Uh, she's got kind of like that stone-cold badass look. Uh, is she like mafia-related or something? Or something like that. I really don't remember. She seems cool. So, let's give her a 4 out of 5. I'd like to know more about her. Aqua from Kingdom Hearts. I didn't... I should play Birth by Sleep. I tried it and I couldn't get into it, but I should play it before 3 comes out. You know, I like this design. You know, I think with Nomura designs, they get a little ridiculous for me, but this one still manages to kind of stick there and be kind of nice to look at. The blue hair is cute. Let's say 3.5 out of 5. Kino from Kino's Journey. This character, I really like this character. See, I thought she was pretty young. So I'll say as my daughter, uh, 4.5 out of 5. I liked that show a lot, and I think she was really interesting character she's like kind of serious but like um had like some complexity to her 
This is like, that was a weird show, but a cool show. Palho Yuki from Eureka 7. These two screenshots look completely different from each other. I, I cannot tell that these are the same person. Combining them as an average... The left would be like a 4, but the right would be like... A 3, so let's say 3.5. Nah, 3. Hitagi Senjoguhara Monogatari series. What the hell is she doing here? I don't know. Kind of like the expression she has. She's like, what the fuck are you looking at? Purple long hair is cute. Uh, let's say four out of five. No Dame from No Dame Cantabile. You know, personally, I would I like this show a lot. I wouldn't necessarily want to marry or date this character. Uh, but she's really nice. She's really nice and she's very ditzy. That's the thing. She's super ditzy, which is not like, I'm not that into super ditzy girls, but she's so nice and makes up for it. Four out of five. Toko Kirishima from Tokyo Goal Re. Tokyo Ghoul? Tokyo Ghoul Ri. I have not seen Tokyo Ghoul. She looks like a mom? Is she a mom? I don't know. She kind of looks like the main character from Persona 3. 2.5 out of 5. Emma Milstein from Trails of Gold... or <laughs> Gold... Cold Steel. Uh, she looks like some kind of warrior. Her outfit is kind of ridiculous. That skirt is very short. Why is it that short? She got glasses. She's cute. Uh, but otherwise... Kind of eh, three out of five. Yukina from Kabinari of the Iron Fortress. I haven't seen this, but this character looks badass. I like that she's got the beefy arms and uh, she looks like she gets shit done. So I'll say a four out of five. Uh, I'd have to know more about her, but just by her vibe, I like that. Darkness from Konosuba is best girl. Oh no, Konosuba. <laughs> okay, she just looks like a warrior. Her name is Darkness, 2.5 out of 5. I don't get anything from this design. It looks like the default warrior option you would get in like a character class or something. Sumugi Kotobuki, Keon, uh, 4.5 out of 5. I wish she had a little more to her, because I think Mio and Ritsu kind of have more personality, but she's got, I like that she's kind of like the rich girl, but she's really nice, and uh, she's very like, you know, proper and polite, and she's just cute, and the eyebrow. She had strong eyebrow game, so 4.5 out of 5. Hirino Kosaka from Oreimo. Is this the one where it's like, they're in love with their sister? That's fucking weird. Who? Idol Masters Chihai Kisaragi. She kind of reminds me of Umi. I don't know if they are similar. They seem like they have kind of like a... That responsible, mature vibe. So, 4? I don't know. She likes photography, I guess. Konata from Lucky Star. I like this character. I really like Lucky Star, actually. I, re I watched it recently for the first time, and I actually really enjoyed it. But as far as a wife, I would never want to be in a two out of five. I don't want to know. But as a character, I think she's really funny. Kaiji from Kaiji. Kaiji is interesting because the style is so distinct and kind of ugly, but in an interesting way. Uh, so I'll say three. But I really like this character. It's just that look-wise, he's not really for me. Nah, I'm gonna boop bump it up. 3.5. He's a good guy. Erica from Fire Emblem of the Sacred Stones. You know, I like I really love Sacred Stones, but the main two characters I find are pretty bland. So three out of five. She's she's cute, and I like that she's a you know a sword sword master or whatever, but uh, personality-wise, just three. Ibuki Miyoda, Dango Bango. Uh, okay, the rocker design is cool. Um, she looks like she likes to have a good time. It's got that wild, crazy hair going. I like her general sort of aesthetic and look. I'll say four out of five. Some of the other Dango Bango girls look completely the same, but this one actually stands out to me. Tsunemori Akane from Psycho Pass. Um, I don't like. I watched like one episode of this. I did not. I don't like how her eyes look. Or the eyes are way too big on these characters in this show. Um, this character was okay, though. She seemed, like, pretty capable. Um, three? Three out of five. Yukiko from Persona 4 is a weirdo. I don't... Easily my least favorite girl. I like her. She's nice. But something about her whole... Maybe it's, like, her weird sense of humor. She's a weirdo. Three out of five. Wendy Marvel from Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale characters look like One Piece ripoff characters to me. And I've never seen it, so I don't know. But that's what they look like to me. This character looks like Azusa with horns or cat ears. I'm not really into it. She looks like she's 10, 1 out of 5. Diana from Little Witch Academia, I actually really like. She's probably my best girl from that show. Um, I like that, I mean, she's the mean girl, but she's got kind of like some sundere and like she gets flustered vibes. Um, uh, so I like that. I think that's a funny kind of like 
um, balance. And yeah, I think I like her design a lot too. Uh, so five out of five. <laughs> kind of day from Angel Beats. I don't like Angel Beats at all. I tried watching it. I thought it was fucking stupid. And this character just to me looks like, or felt like Ray from Evangelion, who I don't really like because she's just kind of like, mm, whatever, just doesn't really say anything or have a personality. And she can play the piano, I guess. One out of five. Ooh, come at me. Miyu Mayakawa from the Idol Master Cinderella Girls. I assume those are not real cat ears or whatever ears, because I don't think that's a fantasy show. I haven't seen it, but. Uh, 2.5 out of 5. She, aside from the ears, I'm kind of getting nothing from this. Yuki Kotagawa from Two Love Rue. She's just kind of like, oh, something, some stupid fan service shit is going on in this picture. Uh, otherwise, she looks pretty nondescript. 2 out of 5. Tsubake Sawabe from Your Line April. I like this character, I think, more than Kaori just be by personality. She kind of felt more real to me. Like, I kind of could sympathize with her, her plight, I guess. And she was just kind of like, she's just kind of cute. So 4 out of 5. Altera from Fate. Fate? Is just Fate? Anyway. The design is okay. A little much for me. Uh, 2.5 out of 5? I don't, I don't really get anything out of this. Valme from... Hormongand. Uh, she got, she's ripped. I like that. She's got an eye patch. She got a knife. Four out of five. She looks like a badass. Haru Okumura from Persona 5 is, uh, easily weakest girl. Uh, and I think part of that is because she gets introduced later. And personality wise, there's not that much going on. Unfortunately, she's nice, but that's kind of it. The other girls have way more personality. Uh, I'll say three out of five because I like her, but. It's kind of bland. Finally, Alex Louis Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist, five out of five, easy. Uh, this big, muscular, magnificent man. I love the mustache. I love the little ridiculous curl of hair. Um, he also has some a lot of depth to him. You get to see him in the past, and like, he's a very compassionate, emotional man. Uh, I just love. I, he's one of my favorite characters. I love Armstrong. What's his name? Is Alex Louis Armstrong. So five out of five, great way to end this and done. That was a hundred wives. If you're mad, I don't care. Goodbye.